Hey love lovers, we're back with our dating series, okay? And right now we must look at um, what happens when Libra and Pisces are in a relationship, okay? So <laughs> when we look at this couple, the first thing that we can see is that there will be lots of, of uh, changes. Like one person is going to be required to change even if they have to change their physical appearance, okay? That's going to be required as always as I said, you know, I cannot um, say here on this YouTube channel which individual would experience that due to censorship, okay? But I can see which person would experience this. They will be they would be required to change themselves, to change how they look, to change how they think. You know, even like their thought process process would be required by the other partner to change. You know, in order to fit in to this relationship. So that's what we're seeing. We also seeing that definitely there's going to be <laughs> one person is going to have lots of secrets okay things that they are hiding okay from their partner all right that, that's what we're seeing and these secrets okay could also be involving some sort of um, scandals <laughs> Well, you can, you can, um, you know, um, expect any type of a scandal, you know, big, small, whatever. But definitely we see that one person is hiding um, some stuff here. <laughs> as, I, as I said, I cannot say, guys, because now I have to censor myself because apparently there's, you know, a sensitive audience that cannot handle all of these things. So... I can tell you just a bit and have to censor the rest and leave um, the rest for Patreon, okay? Like the hard stuff that people can actually stomach. All right, so that's what we're seeing. We are also seeing that one person is going to experience uh, losses in terms of keeping up with the romance. So they may, they may be required to spend a lot of money, say maybe on, you know, uh, romantic uh, outings, romantic dinners, romantic getaways, okay? We're seeing that. And we're also seeing that there is going to be definitely an issue regarding a child or children. That is very clear. Ah. Okay, this issue is going to be um, to the person. This issue is, is going to be more like a, an issue that makes them feel a bit matured, feel a bit responsible. Okay, so it's not going to be like an issue that is going to be draining, that is going to be, um, you know threatening no 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 it's it's an issue that is going to require this individual okay this partner to act maturely to uh think responsibly to you know take another form in this uh, uh relationship re regarding the child issue okay that's that's very very clear here and we also see <laughs> definitely that that one of the partners is going to feel at some point okay guys if if not immediately but at some point this partner is going to feel a bit isolated isolated like they're going there's a point where they're going to feel like i just feel like alone in my relationship you know and we can see that it could also influence or be influenced by 
by some uh, friends as well you know this as well maybe friends are talking maybe friends are saying stuff about the romance you know maybe friends are influencing um this thing you know so that's what we're seeing but at the same time we can obviously see that because of all of these problems this individual this partner is going to definitely uh, engage themselves in um uh, uh habits that are not really healthy okay in uh help in habits that are acting against themselves okay it's it's not gonna be for a long time maybe or it could be for years you know it depends on how they take it but as i said all of these things would be happening because this person this partner is going to be required to act uh, maturely to think responsibly to um, have this uh, uh, mindset that now you know i'm no longer alone you know i have to take care of the kids or i have to take care of this child or you know i have to take care of this relationship itself you know so this is what we're seeing happening here and this because of this this person could also be could also be required to cut out some friends okay that's another responsible thing that could be required cutting out some friends okay we're seeing that all right <laughs> we also see my goodness that you know one partner which we can't say which one it is due to censorship <laughs> one partner is going to definitely have um some neighbors gossiping these neighbors will, will be gossiping okay about the things that are happening in this relationship and due to this this partner is going to have some psychological issues okay so this partner could be maybe being paranoid when they see the neighbors and you know and all of a sudden now you know they don't feel comfortable even going outside because they're going to bump into some neighbors so we seeing that happening because of this relationship so this particular partner is going to experience this or these things all right and um we can see that even if you know they're not um, so severe these uh, psychological responses they going to be somehow uh you know like uh starting some sort of like a, a, a tradition from you know within from the relationship knowing that okay fine on saturdays we don't go out because we're going to bump into this neighbor and this neighbor and this neighbor and this neighbor you know there there would be like some traditions that are now forcing this this couple <laughs> to 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 come up with okay or else you know because of these psychological things they could decide you know what let's invite the neighbors let's have some get togethers with the neighbors we were not we were not so close to them but now we can be close to them you know so there could be like a a nice change as well you know um uh so it's not always like you know psychologically negative all right <laughs> we can also see my gosh that okay <laughs> i did i had to put this word okay so one of the partners <laughs> is going to feel like the other partner is uh bringing losses into the marriage into the relationship into the unionship okay so there's going to be this uh, uh blame that is going to be 
talked about right so and it's going to be the people like other people who are talking about this you know so they will be like oh my gosh so and so has been so isolated ever since you know getting into this relationship or oh, so and so has been like engaging in like self-destructing uh behaviors so it's like like the public is going to like start to like a very um like to critic be very critical of um the this person due to the relationship that they're now in and they're going to point it out that ever since so and so got together with one two three these things are happening okay so then you know uh I mean comes a question then of you know what's what happens you know regarding you know to their conflicts and stuff like this and we can see that as i said you know other people are like friends are really causing some sort of uh, a confusion and uh fire they call they're causing fire in this relationship you know they could be you know uh forming some sort of um who conflict that would cause the partners to see each other as enemies or to see the friends themselves as as enemies but there's that uh, some there's that type of a vibe that we we're picking up okay here yeah. we are also picking up that one of these partners is going to be loaning a lot of uh like lending a lot of money to the friends okay so again this could be another cause of this uh uh fiery uh feeling like um not so nice vibe feeling like this conflict sub type of a thing okay because of this money that is being loaned to the friends okay and we see that like that's very clear and at the same time so now when we're looking at <laughs> when we're looking at the home environment okay we can see that again these friends would also be coming over into the home because of one of these uh, partners which i will not say okay and but the funny thing is that at the same time from the same friends or maybe you know another set of uh, friends they could be helpful in terms of you know bringing in uh work opportunities okay so one of the partners could start to find work now okay and through the french uh, through the friends okay of uh, their partner they could start to find work and stuff like that you know like uh, and they could be working from home because of the opportunities that are coming from the partner's friends okay all right fine it could be a problem all right fine they could bring up you know we all have different types of friends you know some friends they bring problems and troubles some some friends they bring good things we should consider that okay <laughs> all right so that's what we're seeing in a nutshell and you know guys i literally i am so bored being censored i am so bored uh it's like every time now when i have to do like serious uh videos for youtube i have to think about the audience that doesn't want to hear these sensitive things however they do want to engage with the channel at the same time so you know there's this censorship that we have to be mindful of and as i said i'll be putting up videos on the patreon where i will not be censoring myself <laughs> i will be telling you which partner is going to experience what in detail and i'll do videos for that uh i said this week so probably on uh during the weekend because you know oh my gosh lots of stuff to do anyway thanks guys and uh you're so cute I'll chat to you soon. Richard Sweet. Ciao.